This is a quick look at a pedal I made called Counter 5. Uh, it's available now. Um, it's got a lot of uh, crazy features, so this video just shows uh, some of the main ideas in this pedal. And uh, I'll probably upload soon some uh, more uh, lengthier sound clips to uh, my SoundCloud or uh, something like that. <laughs> So I guess in a way it's uh, an expansion on the Goodbye 24 pedal, except for that it does uh, way more stuff and sounds a lot better. Um, but it, it's going to have three modes you can select with this mode switch. Uh, the first mode is like Goodbye 24. The second mode is kind of this random uh, sampler thing. You uh, hold down this button to record a phrase, and then you, when you let go, it's going to start playing back. Basically, you record a, a longer phrase, and then you can uh, get it to kind of randomly play back chunks of that uh, phrase you just recorded. Uh, and the length of the chunk is the second knob, and the uh, Variability of the placement of the chunk is the third knob, so it's probably easier to uh, listen to than have explained, but it's pretty simple. <laughs> Thank you.
third mode is uh, kind of a layered sampler, so you can record up to about eight seconds of audio, and when you let go, it's going to start playing back again. But in this mode, it always plays back the full sample. There's no random subslicing. But what you can do is uh, you can have actually three copies of it playing back at the same time. And each copy's uh, direction and speed is controlled uh, with one of these three knobs. Okay, and uh, you can use the, in this mode. You use the expression switch to uh, pick how many uh, how many layers you want. So up is just one layer, middle is two layers, bottom is three layers. Another feature that's new is uh, there's a mini USB jack on the circuit board. Um, the pedal itself doesn't really have much USB functionality uh, in under normal use, which is why it's uh, covered up there. But uh, there's going to be some, uh, f probably some firmware updates, and also if this allows me to write maybe custom code for people if they want. And uh, basically, all you'll have to do is download a file from my website and uh, use a free. Uh, application for PC and you just plug in uh, the device with a USB cable to your computer and you can uh, reflash the chip yourself without having to uh, send me anything.